Good day everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jessa Macy Alfanta, a fourth year nutrition and dietetic student. And today we'll be viewing a series of video presentation with the topic nutrition in the life stages. You can also watch other videos in our YouTube channel, HD Corner. So what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well for more videos and updates. To begin, the title of my presentation today is Nutrition in the Life Stages, Infant and Young Children. The objectives of my presentations are to understand the importance of breastfeeding and the introduction of complementary feeding, then to realize the importance of eating fruits and vegetables among young children. Why breastfeeding is important? Bakit nga ba? Breast milk is the best gift that a mother can give to her child. The global public health recommendation for infants is exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life. But what is exclusive breastfeeding? It means that an infant is only given breast milk and there are no other liquids or solids, not even water. However, drops or syrups of vitamins and mineral supplements or medicines are allowed. Now let's look at the advantages of breast milk and breastfeeding. On the left side of the picture, you can see the advantages of breast milk and those are first, it contains exactly the nutrients that the body needs. And then, breast milk is easily digested and efficiently used by the baby's body. And then third, it protects the baby against infection, which is very prone to babies since their body is just starting to develop. Then breastfeeding. Here are some of the advantages of breastfeeding shown at the right side of the picture. It costs less than the artificial feeding, meaning you can save your money. And then it helps a mother and a baby to bond and that is to develop a close and loving relationship. Then it helps delay a new pregnancy and it protects the mother's health. In what way? Because it promotes faster weight loss, stimulates the uterus to contract and to return to its normal size, then um, breastfeeding can help in mothers who are having postpartum depression. Moving on, let's look at the complementary foods. After six months of age, all babies need other foods to complement breast milk, which we refer to as complementary feeding. Then, here is a simple complementary feeding guide for parents and guardians. At six months, you can feed the child twice a day. And from six to eight months, the frequency of feeding may increase to two times per day. Then, for nine to 11 months, feed the child three to four times and for children 12 to 23 months, feed them for about four to five times a day. By 12 months or a year, the child can already eat the same type of foods that the family are eating. It's according to the complementary feeding for children aged six to 23 months. According to the World Health Organization, complementary foods should be first, timely, meaning that they are given to the child when there's um, when the need for energy can be provided with exclusive, exclusive breastfeeding alone. Then adequate, meaning that the complementary foods should have sufficient energy, protein, and micronutrients to meet the nutritional needs of a growing child. Then third, safe, meaning that the food are hygienically stored, prepared, and fed. The fourth one is properly fed, meaning that they are given in response to child signals of hunger. Now let's look at the young children. Young children are described or defined as children aged from birth to five years of age. 
they are also categorized as toddlers aged less than three years old or preschoolers aging from three to five years old. Indeed, it's very hard to feed young children. And so there's a need of um, teaching them about good eating habits. And that is very critical at this age because the child is having a transition of eating infant foods and then to adult foods. Young children especially react more to the color, to the flavor, texture, and temperature, the size as well, and the attitude and atmosphere in which the food is presented. Also, parents and guardians should have to use or feed their child with nutrient-rich foods like fruits and vegetables. You can cut them measurably um, just um, for the child to intake it um, the way they want easily. They can chew it and digest it easily. Since there is a need of variety in preparing food for the children, let me introduce to you the nutrition rainbow so that you can paint your plate with the beautiful colors of the rainbow. Red! Go red! Go red to help your heart. Red colored foods help fight heart disease because there is lycopene present in them which helps move the our body fat away from the lungs, away from the heart, away from the blood vessels and intestine. Red foods also contains minerals such as potassium, magnesium, and sodium that helps controls our body fluids. Orange! Go orange and see the benefits. Orange colored fruits and vegetables help protect our eyes. Our body converts carotenoids to vitamin A, which is very powerful in maintaining our eyes healthy. Citrus foods such as orange and the lentan are great sources of vitamins, which helps boost our immune system and help fight off infection. Go yellow and see more possibilities. Orange and yellow fruits and vegetables are packed with nutrients that protect our nervous system, promote eye health, and prevent heart diseases. Green! Green! Go green for your bones, your eyes, and your blood. Green leafy vegetables protect our eyes because they contain lutein, also known as the eye vitamin, and acts as a light filter to protect the eyes from sunlight damage. It also protects our bones because green leafy vegetables has vitamin K that helps support bone metabolism. Bone metabolism is how our bones grow and repair themselves. Also, it contains folate that helps our bone marrow produce white and red blood cells. Go blue and purple for your heart and your brain. Blue and purple fruits and vegetables help prevent heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Yellow and purple fruits and vegetables are very, very important for our memory and promote healthy aging. Nutrition is important at every age, not just for young children only, but also for adults, for adolescents, and for elderly. However, young children need proper nutrients to stay healthy and strong. Nutrition for children can also help establish good foundation of practicing healthy nutrition habits that they can apply throughout their lives. So, keep your child healthy and happy. Look out for the next video to be presented by the next presenter. Once again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, HD Corner, and thanks for watching! Bye!